been going through this out here found a lot of good auction items actually i've carried several buggy loads that's all auction stuff i mean stuff i'd already went through but once i kind of dug through it all the way i found even more stuff than expected keith's over here my god look at the nastiness on this washing machine just the grime and just like nasty detergent stuff that builds up and then lint and hair and gunk and then all the rust that starts to form from all that's crazy and then if we head inside here i'm gonna go up front and see how they're doing on the register getting that thing hooked up i went up there earlier they had it they had it hooked up but they were it wasn't displaying on the screen correctly got a net over there listing items for the friday auction let's head this way still got quite a bit of stuff to pick up over here you can tell some stuff has been picked up today but there's still quite a bit Do you need to be checked off, or? Is that what yeah, I need to be checked off. All right, let me sit this down. All right, at the moment we do have, we still have the old square register here hooked up. Here's the new one. We're just trying to get all the categories changed and everything edited. So we have both hooked up, but this is the one we're still using until we can get everything changed in the computer. Here. There's a few things that we're gonna have, we have to edit and get set up correctly. Probably some stuff that you'll you play with it, figure out that we can do that. But this is the part that you see behind here, and it's cool because if you come around here, then the customer has a screen here. They'll put their card if they have a chip, they can swipe. Yeah, show it. Okay, see, so if the customer's checking out and they're buying a $15 item, and then it shows the tax and their total and everything right there. Then they would stick their card if they have the chip in right here. They can swipe if they still have an old card or they can just tap it. So that does help so they can see the total. And if you're doing multiple items, I think it'll it'll kind of show as you're ringing it up, kind of, you know, at a lot of stores how you'll see that. Before, they had no idea we could see it and they couldn't see anything that was going on on the screen. So, yeah. But that's that. We've almost got this hooked up. We just got to get everything 100% correct in there before we disconnect this all right about to have a little fun one of the um this was the pumpkin that we used in the pumpkin contest that just held the votes people were putting the votes in it but it's been carved for a few days now and it's starting to really it's getting really soft there's gnats flying all around it so it's time to get, get rid of this thing so we're gonna Instead of just throwing it away, we're going to do a little pumpkin smashing. Let's get the camera straight.
This thing's kind of bouncy. All right, that kind of didn't really explode like I thought it was. I thought it was gonna just go you know, bust all over the place and little pieces were gonna go everywhere. So mostly just kind of broke into pieces. After I hit it several times, it just kept breaking a little bit smaller, but not really exploding like I thought it would. All right, I've been going through some of the boxes here since we got it back and um, we showed most of the stuff that came out of there, not in like super detail, but um, you know, there was quite a bit of stuff for just those few boxes. A lot of stuff that we were able to put into the auction. The set that went with this, there was a bed that went with this. Unfortunately, the bed was missing. It was actually a canopy bed and it was missing all the top pieces. You gonna get that off? Just put that on the um, small stuff turned out pretty good. There was the king size bed, which we put out onto the floor. We got, I think I got 300 bucks on it. And I was just going through this little bit of jewelry here. I think it did actually find a couple pieces of gold. I just started, I haven't gone through the rest of this, but this ring right here. And I was wondering because there was some, a couple of receipts in there from K Jewelers for actual, you know, for real jewelry. And this one right here is Mark 10K. It looks good. This one here, I couldn't find any marking on, but I'm looking at really, and it looks, it looks real. I don't see any indication that it's not, but well, I kind of see a few little scuffs on there that don't look right. And there's no markings. That's probably not. But this is saying that it's 10 karat right here. White gold. And let's look down here. Some other rings down in this box right here. This one looks good. Let's see. If I can find a marking on it. There is a mark there. Um, and that one does say 10 karat too. And it looks good. So there's two 10 karat gold rings. Here's another ring in here. Let's see. A couple more. What is this? That is not anything. This one here, let's see. It looks like it could be. And there's a marking there. 10 karat. So there's another three, three 10 karat gold rings out of this batch so far. That might be it. A lot of people put them all in one spot. Um, might be everything that's real out of this little batch here. This is silver right here, this chain. Sterling silver chain. Usually these bangles and earrings are not... Here in a second, I'll take a closer look. And then let me dig down in here and see what I can find. I don't think there's anything down here, but I didn't really think there was anything there either until I started looking closer and saw those rings kind of down underneath everything. But a lot of times that's how, for me anyways, that's how it is finding gold and stuff because when I'm at the unit kind of skimming through and a lot of times making the videos, it's hard to sit there and dig in every little container and box and jar. And um, so many times I've, you know, later on is when I find that there's actually gold, unless it's just an easy large batch. And there's been times in the past, I remember I had a file cabinet one time for months set in the back. And we started going, cleaning some stuff out. And I was about to just take it out and throw it in the scrap pile. And I opened up just to check. And there was a, a Ziploc bag in there that had, a, I mean, a handful of gold in there. And it had just been sitting there for months thinking that it was, you know, just all trash in there. But let me check this last little bit and I'll let you know if I find anything in here. All right, I looked through the rest of that jewelry. Didn't find any more gold. This is all costume that I did find. So there ended up being that one silver chain and three gold rings. Possibly this earring right here. It's got some kind of marking, probably silver though. But but yeah, three gold rings, 10 karat gold rings that I didn't really think were in there based off, you know, because it was all mixed in with this jewelry. So always check your costume jewelry. Even when it looks like a bunch of broken, beat up junk with garbage mixed in and a bunch of dirty change on there and all that kind of junk, check down in there because you never know because there's three gold rings and pretty decent little, that one right there is pretty heavy. That one's got a little bit of weight. This, they're all a little bit, sometimes they're all really thin. These are all have a little bit of weight to them as far as rings go. So it's a little bit of money right there. But pretty much got this whole trailer. I'm all done. That's all trash. I just got to throw that away. Last couple odds and ends to do something with. 
but all cleaned out for today let me kind of walk in here and i will show you keith's over there working on some furniture still you got that washing machine all cleaned up the best we could besides the rust and got 150 bucks on it out there on the floor right now but as far as the stuff that i've been bringing out today pretty much most of the stuff on this middle table came out of those few boxes there as far as auction stuff and then i did take quite a few things up there to for the dollar area but like all of this stuff some of the stuff already sh already shown like all those old state plates and the bingo stuff and everything here's the the ds but most of this stuff down through here came out of that unit out of those boxes and then down this side right here like the pizza pizza dishes and stuff and all this kind of thing dishes pyrex stuff nike stuff so not bad for like six or seven boxes that were in that unit when it comes to the small stuff and then end up finding the um few pieces of sorry i was just looking at something few pieces of gold there all right, we brought the couple pieces of furniture in for that unit. Here's all their cut locks from all the times they've been um, up for auction in this drawer right here. So at least three times. Chester drawer. Yeah, unfortunately the bed here was actually a canopy bed and it's missing the, the pieces that would have went up. Not finials, but it had the actual poles that went all the way up and made a canopy bed. But just about most everything on looks like we're gonna have a few things left this week and it's getting pretty full over here on this side tables gone there well that's pretty much it for the day i'm leaving a little bit early today my braves they're playing the dodgers early game five o'clock so i gotta get home right now to watch that game braves are up to nothing so if you're a dodgers fan and you're watching this then go braves if you're a mets fan if you're a phillies fan if you're a nationals fan then you know sorry you're sitting at home your team's sitting at home and my team's still playing in october but go braves if you like this channel even though even if you're another fan of another team you know you can still subscribe you can still hit the like button you can leave a comment and y'all have a good one.